Well, welcome back. We're at the final and last leg of our journey. Uh, when we left last time, uh, we had sent uh, uh, a signed email to uh, the uh, to Xavier account there to Joe, and uh, now we re received a reply from Joe. And here's something that I want to point out. You notice right here to the left, this kind of indicates that that email, I believe, is signed. So let's open it up and take a look and see what Joe has to say. So I've double clicked here. And it says, uh, hi there, webmaster. I got your signed email. I'm signing this one so that you can have my public key. Send me one encrypted now. Smile. And then if we look over here, we see this envelope indicating that they had signed this email. And uh, if we right-click on that, it, import, it lets us know, so, hey, this message is signed. This message uh, includes a valid digital signature. This message has not been altered since it was sent. Signed by email address, Xavier at .com, issued by Komodo. Okay, and then here I can actually view the certificate if I wanted to in the details, and I can look at different information about the certificate if I want to. But the, the point is that uh, the email is in fact signed, and now that we have uh, received one from them, we have their um, uh, uh, public key from their certificate with us, so now that we can send. Uh, an, e uh, an encrypted email to them, which is the uh, topic of this little video. So let's uh, let's send uh, Joe at XavierGTech.com a uh, an encrypted email, and this is how we do it. We're gonna write an email, and we're gonna say, "Well, this is to Xavier at GTech.com, like we did last time." And for this, we're gonna say, "Hey, this is encrypted email." And uh, this email is super secret. Don't share with anyone. Oops. Someday I will learn to type. Probably not today though. Okay, so now that we got it, again we have the security thing up here. This time we want to say, hey, digitally sign this message and encrypt this message. So we see both of those are selected. Now look down here at the bottom you remember the digital signature thing, the little envelope with the wax stamp, but now there's also a lock, which means that everything in here, in the body of this text, is going to be encrypted, and we will explore in the conclusion of how we can really verify that that's the case. But all we have to do is send it, and voila, it's gone. We have sent our first encrypted email. Now, Joe will respond back. Uh, with an encrypted email so we can see what it's like to get one and uh, we'll we'll look at that and uh, some some concluding remarks when we're done so until then I'll talk to you later and hopefully the stuff is not too hard for you if it is again uh, select the contact us link in the menu at the top send a letter uh, email to the webmaster and I will help you as much as I can possibly help you for those of you of the 7th district group who were interested in this, you have my phone number. If you need more personal help, please call me and I will uh, assist you as much as I possibly can. So in the meantime, uh, keep America free and, and keep fighting for the cause and God bless you. Bye-bye.